Welcome to Geography Gen. What we're going to be looking at today is we're going to have a look at the United Kingdom. We're going to have a go at labelling the four countries that make up the United Kingdom. We're also going to have a look at the seas around the United Kingdom and we're going to look at the capital cities as well. So to start off with, if you have a look at the United Kingdom, you can see that I've coloured in the four different parts, four different countries which make up the United Kingdom. So you've got this one here, this one here, this one here and this one here. This is not part of the United Kingdom, so I've sort of blacked it out a little bit. So let's start off with um, this country here. So do you know what this country is called? OK, so this is the country we live in and its name is England. So I'm going to write England in the middle of it. OK, so let's move up further north now. So this got this country here. What do we think this one might be called? Right, so this one is called Scotland. So I'm just going to label this on the map here. Right, let's have a look at this country down here. What do you think this one might be called? So this one's called Wales. And finally, the country over here in green, I might have to write this next to it because I don't think I'll fit it in. Um, what do you think this one is called? Okay, so this is called Northern Ireland and I'm just going to do a little arrow over here so I can fit it on. So Northern Ireland. This country here, it's not part of the United Kingdom, but we will put the name of it on anyway. So it's called the Republic of Ireland. OK, so it's quite easy to remember the name of this country because it is an island and its name is Ireland. They are spelt differently, but it's one way of remembering it. Scotland is the coldest part of the United Kingdom, so it's further north. Um, and Wales is quite mountainous, and we'll have a little look at the mountains in Wales later on. So let's move on and have a look at the seas. So you might notice that I have put four lines around the outside of the United Kingdom. And what I would like you to think about is, could you name the seas? And then we're going to go through them and see if you've managed to get them correct. So let's go to this one first, because this is a very large ocean, which actually stretches right, right down here. OK, so it's called the Atlantic Ocean. Let's have a look at this one over here. What you might notice is this one is quite far north. And so it's actually just called the North Sea. OK, this one here, well, this divides um, France and England. And you might have heard of the Channel Tunnel, which runs through here. And this one here is called the English Channel. OK, then you've got... Um, this one over here, so you've got this C here. Now you might be able to see this is between Ireland and Wales and England. Um, so this is actually called the Irish Sea. OK, so so far we've labelled the four main countries in the United Kingdom and we've labelled the seas and oceans around the countries. So now we're going to have a look at the cities. So to start off with, let's have a look at the capital city in England. So I've drawn a dot to show where that is. Do you know what the capital city is called? OK, so the capital city is called London. So I've just written that on there. What about in Scotland? So Scotland also has a capital city um, and the capital city is called Edinburgh. So I shall write that on there. Let's move on to Wales. 
So Wales has a capital city which is called Cardiff. Okay, so we'll pop that on there. And then we are going to move on to look at Northern Ireland. And Northern Ireland has a capital city which is called Belfast. So my map's looking quite busy at the moment. Um, right, just a little bit of physical geography for you as well. So in Scotland, you have got quite a lot of mountains here. You've got a group of mountains which are called the Grampians and the Highlands as well. And over here in Wales, you've also got quite a lot of mountains and these are called the Cambrian Mountains. Over here in the north of England, you've also got quite a few mountains here and these are called the Pennines. Once again, don't forget, when you're labelling places on a map, you need to make sure you use capital letters for anything that's a place name.